to my channel. This is the first part of the sketch with me series. Today, I'm gonna sketch three different flowers together, a combination of three different, yeah, three different flowers that I found from Pinterest. And I kind of just combined them together, like different reference image to make up this illustration that I'm sketching. So now I'm drawing out the leaves, kind of like a lotus leaves kind of thing of the flower. Yeah, that's just me sketching out today. Today, no, I, s I filmed this like a few days ago, but yeah, I'm recording this now. I had a long day today. I went to like picnic with my friends just now. Well, it's actually a friend, not friends. It was really nice. And it's sunny today, which is rare in the UK weather. And also it didn't rain today, which was nice. Oh, and here I'm like inking the sketch. I don't usually ink my illustrations, so this is rare. But I thought I should just do it to, you know, test things out and see how it looks like. But it actually kind of helps because later on when I start painting it, uh, I can see the lines clearer. Even though, even though, <laughs> even though I'll cover it up eventually, so it's kind of pointless that I'm outlining it. But at the same time, I can see better when I paint it rather than you know the pencil lines. It's more vague. And here I'm painting in the colors, filling in with the lighter colors first. So like light orange, and then slowly going in with the darker colors like red, and then more red, <laughs> more red, and green. Yes, green. It's kind of like it gives it's giving the coloring book sketch of oh, coloring <laughs> coloring book vibes you know like if you know about the secret garden coloring book yeah it gives me those vibes maybe because i outlined the image yeah so i'm just filling in the color now from light to dark and dark to dark <laughs> dark to darker dark Adding more values. Oh my gosh. And then here I am. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, oh, I was adding in red to apparently trying to like add more dynamic to the illustration, but it was like too much. So I was like, okay, I need to take it off. But then I was like, no, I gotta keep trying. So I added on to the leaves as well. And then now I'm putting in some light colors on the leaves. <laughs> I, I didn't plan this out. <laughs> this was not scripted. Maybe I should plan it out. I don't know. I'm just winging it at this point. Now wash my brush. And then I was like, maybe I should paint the background dark. Initially, initially I was like, Maybe that's a bad idea because it's like once you go <laughs> once you go dark you can't go back and also like the white background looks nice but then I was like you know what you will <laughs> why am I having a headache now no that's not the point okay okay anyway, anyway yeah so I paint the black <laughs> I paint the background black <laughs> and it actually looks okay it's a different vibe. But it's like more mysterious. You'll see it later. It looks kind of uh, <laughs> questionable for now. And now you just gotta trust the process. We're getting there. We're getting there. And now I'm painting in like the edges with the black. And what am I doing here? Oh, so I painted in the background and now I'm just touching up the leaves and stuff to add more details to things 
and now just finishing off with the white sprinkles the shine yeah and here the second page i moved on with some moss i thought it was butterflies but then when i checked my reference images it says it says that it's moths and i was like okay they're moths the thing about sketching or like drawing out bugs is that i think they're very pretty like butterflies are pretty but when i sketch them out i get disgusted low-key i don't know why because i don't know like you know the antenna and the body and stuff do they call it antenna i don't know yeah that little thing on the top and the body and yeah this thing that i'm drawing now it just kind of reminds me of cockroaches and i don't know like i, I hate cockroaches it scares me yeah anyway i'm just outlining it uh outlining the sketches out at this point because i figured that it would be easier for me to paint later because i can see the outlines and then this is also a moth but i forgot the name of this moth but it looks kind of cool you can see the finished product later and uh this is me drawing not knowing that the big the background is not focused <laughs> and then i'm erasing it off this the pencil lines then filling in with the color starting from the light color to the dark so orange first and then you'll see me filling in with green brown blue everything <laughs> i really should plan my commentary next time yeah maybe i should talk about something like a topic when i sketch next time for the next part of sketch with me and i mean like sketch and chat with me yeah i should plan it out but not today <laughs> not today and i should also get a better mic mm. what am i doing here oh i'm painting in the light colors for basically the base colors for all of the moths because for some reason this paper takes a while to dry so i'm like okay i don't want to wait that long so i'm just gonna work on other parts while i wait for the other parts to dry and i also struggle to layer with this paper i don't know why it's it's moleskin though it's my first time using a moleskin sketchbook and i think it's okay it's the 200 gsm watercolor version mm -hmm. and now i'm just filling in the darker shades to build more contrast mm -hmm. And some details. Da, 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 da. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Do you guys like bugs? <laughs> That's a random question. Just now I went to my friend's place and there was like a daddy long legs stuck in her fridge. <laughs> we freaked out. Well, she freaked out and I was like, okay, I'm used to this. I mean, I freaked out when I first saw the daddy long legs last year when I came to the UK and it was like flying in my room and it was so big and scary and <laughs> I think I screamed and I don't know I don't know how I settled it I tried to kill it I think I sprayed some uh, sanitizer spray on it and then it died like the amount of insects I've killed here, here in the UK it's quite a lot, but I'm not that scared of spiders and stuff. Cockroaches, they scare me. But so far, I've not seen it in the UK. Okay, why are we talking about this? Anyway, moving back to <laughs> the painting, I'm freehanding some stars right now to because I feel like the background is kind of bare. So I'm just trying to add stuff in to make it more interesting. And... Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm adding some highlights and I'm adding the sprinkles. You can see I added some orange sprinkles. Is it called sprinkles? I don't know. I'm just gonna call it sprinkles. And this is the finished product. Yay! Thanks for watching this far and listening to my oh, into my voice. Yeah, this is the full spread. 
and now I'm closing the sketchbook. Close. It's the end. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, <laughs> like and subscribe. These are like some free cards that I got from the Freshest Fair recently. Yeah, thanks. Goodbye, guys.